Road trip time, heading back to my old stomping grounds of northern Alabama for a weather conference for work. So on my drive from Cincinnati, I figured might as well do some bourbon hunting along the way, see if we can find any of those latest releases or allocated bottles on the journey. Join me as I take that trip down through Kentucky and Tennessee. Big bottle I'm looking for today, that Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch A124. Definitely looking to get my hands on one of those. So join me. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and comment. Hey, is there any liquor store along the I-65 corridor you think I should stop at next time, drop that in the comment section. Let's get going and see what we can find. All right, first stop, we're in Carrollton, Kentucky at Country Liquor and Tobacco. Let's see if they've got anything good, what their selection looks like, and if we can walk away with anything special. Well, that was a bust. Uh, they wouldn't let me film inside. That's totally okay. Um, but they did have a bunch of Buffalo Trace items all marked up at ungodly prices. E.H. Taylor small batch right at 100 bucks. They have Eagle Rare right at 100 bucks. A bunch of Stack Junior sitting on the top shelf behind uh, the desk, $250. Um, I totally passed on that. What what price would you guys pay? What's the highest that you would pay for any of those bottles? I think my top top price that I'd pay for Stag Junior, 100 about 125. I'm not going anywhere higher than 50 on EH Taylor small batch. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let's go find another place see if we can find anything special. All right, next stop we are on the east side of Louisville at one of those big box stores, Liquor Barn. Let's see if they've got anything cool. Okay, here we go. Bourbon Isle. You got your Michters, Basil Hayden, a bunch of displays. I love how they have this all sectioned off. Bonded. McTavish, good stuff. There's a review coming for that here shortly for me. Hard to beat this JTS bottle, Brown Bottle and Bond. But look at these prices, guys. Uh, fantastic stuff. And I mean, you've got McKenna on the shelf. Technically, it's allocated. They got it right at that allocated price at 70 bucks. Uh, probably could find it cheaper in some spots, but not by a whole lot. But their bonded section has a ton of good stuff. You've got your old Forster bonded, old granddad, Jack bonded, the Rye, the Triple Mash. Do not sleep on this Ben Holiday. You can see there on the top right, we did their Soft Red Wheat review a couple of months ago but really hard to beat a bottled and bond whiskey. Then you get to the Kentucky, really just hard hitters. You go Wild Turkey, right where this should be, $39.99. Great stuff. Uh, it's one of those bottles that I talked about a couple weeks ago, as that's one that I always have on my shelf, but hard to beat rare breed as well. Uh, as we keep going down, we've got Woodenville, $39.99. Hauling Station, MB Roland, we talked about that a couple weeks ago as well. So uh, a lot of good stuff, a great selection here at the Liquor Barn I'm on the east side of Louisville. Old Fitz, of course, this is Kentucky only. Um, that is the same bottle that would be the Old Fitz Decanter series. Guys over at Bourbon Pursuit, uh, Pursuit United, putting out some great whiskey out there as well. And of course, the Origin series from Bardstown great price point on that, uh, 45 to $50. As we go down, I want to talk more about the old Fitz, Kentucky only. Of course, everybody's hunting that bottled in bond, but this is the same juice for $12.49, but it's at 80 proof, Kentucky only, as I mentioned for that, but hard to beat at $12.49, it's 80 proof, so you're not really gonna get slammed on that. Uh, Paul, the, the general manager here said, that is one that he'll drink half the bottle and then go take his dog for a walk. And if you are here at this liquor barn on the east side, go talk to Paul, very knowledgeable guy, great guy. He was just telling me a story about the RD1. Uh, you may have heard them as William Tarr before, but he told me that they had to rebrand because William Tarr, not the best guy. Hearing more and more about Mr. and Mrs. Don't know if I'd be buying a 12 or 13 year bourbon for 260 bucks, but interested in their lower proof. Uh, Green River pumping out some good stuff. And then Luca Mariano, got some friends over there. Frank August, this is kind of hidden on the shelf here, but I think that you should definitely give this small batch a go. I was very impressed with that. We had a Barrels and Barrels Bourbon and Baseball podcast review of that a few months ago as well. 
as I mentioned, everything's all sectioned off pretty nicely. You got your four roses, your old Forester. Of course, they've got a great line, their Whiskey Rose series. We just did the 1924 review a couple of weeks ago. You can check that out on the top right of your screen. But hard to beat anything from Old Forester for their price point, especially their 100 proof. Or I really liked the 86 proof for making cocktails, especially Manhattans and Old Fashions. Then you get to your Tennessee section. We'll be stopping at Nelson Brothers here in just a bit, but Uncle Nearest really making some ways. And then that Jack Daniels line, of course. Some pretty good prices here. The Bonded, right where it should be, 35 bucks or thereabouts for each one of those. And then Milan and Green, which we bought a couple of weeks ago and enjoy that. But I wish the single barrel was a little higher in proof. Of course, you got Jack and Jim. Show you the prices on that. Of course, good stuff. And then you get to your Heaven and Hill section. Of course, Evan Williams Single Barrel Vintage. Uh, used to be distributed everywhere. Now it's Kentucky only. I wish it wasn't quite as high as $52.99, but Paul said that that is coming straight from the distillery for that price. So I uh, don't really blame anybody selling it for that. I just wish it was closer to the old $30 that it used to be. Of course, as I mentioned, I'm a sucker for JTS Brown, uh, JTS Brown Bottled and Bond, but that JW Gant, hard to beat as well. And then you got your cult classic mellow corn. Let's go to the other side of the aisle. As I mentioned, everything is all sectioned off pretty nicely here. Your makers, those liquor barn private selection picks. You got your 46 French oak cask strength. Prices, again, great. This one was one that I had a question about what the flat boat was. It's actually their own brand along with Kentucky Silk. He mentioned that if I was gonna get anything from them to go with the flat boat, just the, the 90 proof. It's got a little more oak to it, but he did mention that this is pretty close to a 1792 full proof. I think that's what I'm walking out of here with today. Uh, says it sips, but it's a little sweeter than your 1792 full proof, which I really enjoy. Kentucky Silk, you've got your Woodford Reserve, of course, so full selection there. Double oak, it's a great price of $53.99. And then you get back towards the Knob Creek, Basil Hayden, as you get to the other gym products. And then you've got a variety of everything else. Heaven's Door, Three Chord, uh, Off Hours, Starlight, and then those gimmicky bottles, Cooperstown and the Champions. Garrison Brothers, the Honeydew. That's a pretty good price on that as well. Texas Whiskey, Three Chord. But Single Barrel Bourbon Select for the... Uh, Knob Creek, $62.99. Then we get to a little bit more of those crafts. Uh, Penelope, Pinhook, and then another Kentucky-only bottle out there. The Willett's Finest, well, Bottled and Bond, $23.99. Have a bottle of that. Good stuff. Rowan's Creek, Noah's Mill. Um, I was intrigued. This is also a Kentucky-only bottle, $42.99. It's a, this is probably one of the only spots that you're going to find it. Very good pour. Um, said it's similar to what Barton's putting out. Also, Bardstown was a comparable. And then you got the pot still from Boone County. Uh, my buddy was asking me for one of these, so I think I'm gonna grab one of those as well. So there we go. Yeah, High West, Davies County. Like I mentioned, everything's sectioned off very well and I love the pricing here. Great pricing. That's probably the best price you're gonna find on Fortuna anywhere. $65.98. Oak and Eden, it's a little gimmicky in my mind. Where they're finishing it with that French oak spiral. Their thing is it's always finishing, so it's always changing. And then Dark Arts. Um, he has a hunch that it's coming from Wilderness Trail, but uh, yeah, you gotta go talk to Paul here at this store. Great stuff, great selection. Move over. Of course, you've got Stranahan's new riff blueprint. He was really talking this up. MGP, I believe. 752104, 100 proof, six year. This is coming from MGP. And on the bottle, he mentioned, as it's Kentucky only, they found the blueprints to the old distillery here. So on every batch, they're going to be putting a different blueprint on the back. Pretty cool. I think it looks a lot more like the Blue Note uh, special bottles, but. Uh, he said it's very tasty, very approachable. Might be walking out of there, out of here with that as well. Of course, you got your brothers and 
Brothers Bond. They've got their cask strength, the rye. And as we keep going down, James Pepper, of course, that cask strength, very good. Uh, there will be a review on that coming up as well. 291, it's a bit hidden. Also, Michter's, hard to beat Michter's. And then you get to the rye section. McTavish, this is Green River. The other, the bourbon, actually MGP. One of the first MGP bottled and bond celebrity brands. And then, of course, some good prices on the rye. Don't sleep on that Sagamore Spirit, uh, especially that Double Oak. And then over Old Overhout Four Year. Um, yeah, great selection and a really cool look to it. Okay, now we've got their more expensive bottles, of course. Angel's Envy Cask Strength, 78 Legends, Kiyomichi. I don't know, would you be paying 2,000 bucks for a bottle of bourbon? I don't know if I could ever do that. Rabbit Hole Amarana Finish. I think Amarana is getting a little overplayed, especially for 1,200 bucks. Of course, Chicken Cock, Kentucky Owl, Old Louisville, Bushwood, the Bardstown Collaborative Series. We got the Goose Island. It's about what the pricing should be. Foursquare really popped up on a lot of people's best of 2023. You get to Garrison Brothers Belmora. And then, of course, the single barrel cask strength coming over from Rabbit Hole. Blue Run, Ooh, Forbidden. Heard good things about that. I don't know, though, if I'm going to be buying a $150 bottle. Buzzard's Roost that's really starting to hit the scene, especially here in Kentucky. And then, of course, you got Smoke Wagon and anything that Barrel's been putting out. I was hoping that I would be able to find the foundation today. It does not look like that is in the cards. And you got your old Willow Pot still, which will move best. For you Scotch drinkers, you got the Red Spot, Blue Spot, Kellen. Uh, he was really talking up his Brukladich for those peated whiskey fans. And then, of course, Lafroig, Glen Farclas, and the Suntory Single Marts. And then on the other side, quick spin, their single barrel selection. Great people over at Middle West, so if you haven't tried them out, I would definitely give them a try. Peerless, hard to beat Peerless single barrels. Woodenville, Augusta 8, don't sleep. It's a black bottle, usually I would say don't buy anything that you can't see the liquid in, but I have had quite a bit of Broken Barrel and really love what they're doing. And then you got Nulu, MB Rollin', Kentucky Silk, and of course, some of those lower shelf bottles that are still pretty good. I'd probably stay away from Town Branch, but a few spirits out of Chicago, Watershed, Wilderness Trail, and then Luca, as I mentioned. So, really good selection. They've got that bar. Let's go check that out as well. So, bar, I mentioned. He said this is probably one of the better liquor stores that you're going to find, but also one of the better bars you're going to find in Louisville. Pricing and all that. Look at all the different types of pours you can get. You got the Pappies, of course, you got the Bardstowns, but Blantons. Anybody trying with Blantons wondering what that is? He said that's a $5 pour for Blanton. So if you're trying to find Blanton's or wondering what it tastes like, come check out the Liquor Barn. They've got an amazing selection of whiskey to just sip on. Let's see what the menu's got for a one ounce pour. I mean, a one ounce pour of 1792, $2.99 for a 17 small, small batch, Angel's Envy. I mean, for a pour of Buffalo Trace, $3.99. I mean, come on, you're not gonna find a bar pouring one ounce pours like this. Hancock's Reserve, $6.99. That's a allocated bottle that most people probably can't get their hands on. I mentioned some of the Eagle Rare 17 year, yes. Part of the BTAC, $40 pour. I'm just gonna keep flipping through. What, what pour would you be getting at this bar? That's my question. I'm probably going to be going for one of those VTAC bottles if I had a choice. And they've got a pretty good beer selection for those beer lovers. Some craft beer. They've got their beer cave. And all the different types of beers, ciders, etc. 
Okay, leaving Liquor Barn, great selection, great people. Go check out Paul. We are on the east side of Louisville, uh, Liquor Barn. I'm walking away with that uh, flat boat foolproof and that Boone County pot still for my buddy in northern Alabama. Great selection, great prices, and of course, as I mentioned, go talk with Paul, super knowledgeable guy, and he's going to point you in the right direction. All right, we're a little bit further down the road now in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, at one of my favorite liquor stops on I-65. This is John O's Liquor Outlet, again, right off of I-65 in E-Town. We're going to jump in. They always have a great selection, pretty decent prices. Let's see if they've got anything special in back uh, and if we can walk home with anything cool. Okay, here we go. Once you walk in, take a look at this store. Amazing selection on whiskey. It's a little high in the Weather Special Reserve, but they've got a lot to choose from here. So let's see what we got. Four Roses, Old Forester, some tight aisles. So I'm gonna try to get you the best view that I can. Ancient Age, uh, the handle, $23.99. Again, it's a good buy, especially if you're a fan of Buffalo Trace products. You know, Fireball. I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason to where they have things on the shelves, but they've got a bunch of stuff here. Bottom shelf, JW Dant. So $22.99, $31.49 for the big handle. Old Elk, $49.99, good price there. $19.99, this is gonna be one of my favorite everyday pours. And then Old Fitzgerald, as I mentioned, this is a Kentucky only bottle, $12.99, great price there. And then Early Times Bottle and Bond, which checks in for the regular one is $13.99. Old Carter, Old Charter Ear, coming in at $14.99. Right there, that Evan Williams. Single barrel vintage, vintage 51.99, but this 17.83 is really what has taken that place. The Jim Beam line, Devil's Cut. We talked about Double Oak. How that's a great pound for pound pour at 24.99, and then you got your Redemption. Here we go. We got some special stuff over here. Frank August, the Brandy Cask, that's $161.99. Again, that small batch, really starting to see these pop up. Don't sleep on Frank August. And then 13th Colony, it's a really good rye, $49.99. One of the better under $50 ryes that you're gonna find. Oh, cool, the World Whiskey Society, 10 year. This is their port cask, $124.99. They always have the cool toppers. That's something to check out. And then Jack Daniels and Opera, 200 bucks. So, great selection. Traveler Whiskey, one of the better prices I've seen on that, $37.99. And of course, the small batch, Saz Rye. So, let's make our way down this aisle. Old Forster Whiskey Row Series, great prices on the 1870 small batch of the original batch. $49.99, Bottle and Bond, and then the Statesman. Elijah Craig, Bourbon Cream, $23.49. Great stuff. If you're a fan for coffee or something like that, then hit a barn at the bottom. One thing I love about this store is they've got an amazing selection. Like I said, not necessarily a rhyme or a reason on where placement is. Russell Single Barrel, $89.99, maybe slightly higher than some places, but the new Riff, and then the Baker 7, good price, $67, so. Wathens, hearing more and more about Wathens. This is coming from the Medley the Distillery, 60 bucks, Hirsch, 10 cup, Coopers. This is a really good budget pour. $33.99. Say what's behind me. Okay. So all the Jim Beam flavors, the stag, but then how about this? Jack Daniels single barrel rye. 
This is supposed to be an everyday shelf for down the road, $67.99, great price. And we uh, definitely might be walking out with one of those. The Old, for uh, Old Forester, and also you got your four roses, the 10 tasting bottle, 130. And this is the best price I've seen on McKenna in a while, 60 bucks for the Henry McKenna 10 and Peerless Double Oak. One liter Buffalo Trace, the price on that, $37.99. That's a really good price on Buffalo Trace. You're not really gonna find that much anywhere. So, uh, really great prices on this stuff. And then a Elijah Craig single barrel pick from the store. They have great single barrel selections here. So it's a nine year single barrel coming in at 136.8. That's gonna stack up with some of those barrel proof offerings. Knob Creek 12. Another underrated pour, good price there. And then don't sleep on the Lucky 7 Holiday Toast. It's a double oak barrel. It's $85. Single barrel coming from Lucky 7. They've got a single barrel too. So that coming in with a 59% ABV, so 118 proof in Kentucky only. So you're only going to find this bottle in Kentucky. Uh, the Willet Finest Quality Bottle and Bond. Great Buffalo Trace selection, Buzzard's Roost, and then Booker's. What batches do they have? 2304 and 2303. So that's going to be uh, the Mighty Fine batch. And then I believe that's the Storyteller batch. And then Knob Creek. So if you're a fan of Buffalo Trace, look at all the boxes they've got of it. A great Buffalo Trace selection here. And then the Bardstown Discovery Series behind it. You've got New Barrel Single Barrel Pick, $52.99. Okay, let's keep going back to the regular shelf. Knob Creek Rye, Sinclair, Makers, the Mictors, and then Monk's Road, which is really starting to pop up. Okay. Even more of a selection. Here we go. Bardstown, Origin Series. That's a great price. $44.99, right where it should be. And this is a great weeded bottle and bond. If you're having a hard time finding Old Fitz bottle and bond, Go grab that Bardstown Origin Series. This one was one of my favorite bottles of 2023. That's the best price I've seen at $91.99. And then you're getting into some of the Kentucky distilleries. Casey Jones, Boone County, um, Luca Mariano, which is really starting to hit the scenes. And then Green River, who continues to put out great stuff. Uh, that's a single barrel at 60 bucks, but the regular stuff is $36.99. Really good pricing here. Again, John O's Liquor Outlet, this just pepper, great stuff, um, Woodenville. And then as we look over here, oh, there's some of that Cardinal Spirits down there. Been on the hunt for that. Might be walking out with one of those. National Barrel Company, Down Home, American Highway. And then we got some of the big hitters. You're good, I'll keep you out of it. So, single barrel, Elijah Craig, looks like that's 247. Is that a honey antique? Is that what that is? It looks like it's a special blended bottle. Sometimes they do some contract selling here as well, so this might not necessarily be all of their whiskey, but all the stuff behind the counter. I can? Oh, cool, thank you. Okay, so this one, Weller in 107, an early times bottle and bond. That is going to be a pair for $149.99. The Old Forester, and then the King Ranch, $151.99. Will it Purple Top? Again, single barrel. So this is going to be a, t a pair. So you get the single barrel and the Thomas More for $249. And then you get the Michter's. Ooh, so here we go. Michter's Toasted Rye, Straight Bourbon, and Small Batch for $295.98. Bullet 12 year. I haven't seen some of these bottles in person before, so that's really cool. So you're going Blanton's. There you go. 152.98 for the Blanton's and the Thomas S. Moore, which is right at MSRP combined. Look at Blanton single barrel, the red box, Knob Creek 18, the big handle of Weller and Buffalo Trace. So you get the Buzzards Roost and the handle of Weller for 142. Magnus Cigar Blend and the Magnus Regular Bourbon for 283. That's MSRP. And then you're getting the Bardstown Collab Series. 
with Goose Island, the fourth grit, which was one of the better pours of last year, Wild Turkey 8-year, Wild Turkey 12-year, Four Roses Super Premium, and the Gatsby. A bunch of great bottles here at Jono's Liquor Outlet. Uh, this is right off of I-65 in Etown, so a must-stop if you are a bourbon fan. Come check these guys out. Oh, and then on this side, across from the counter, even more. Smoke Wagon. So the Chocolate Malt Hard Truth. If you haven't had anything from Hard Truth, Indiana Distillery putting out amazing rye. They just dropped their bourbon. And here's your Peerless High Rye, Double Oak Rye, George Dickel, the Leopold Bros. Four Kings, not Gods. That's what the FKNG stands for, but I, I just know that it's F King Awesome. <laughs> Harrison Brothers. Um, Bushwood, if you haven't tried any of that. Really good stuff. One of the coolest top, toppers you can see. That's actually glass, and then this is a really heavy-duty topper. Oh, nice. The Pipe Dream, the brand-new Foggy Burl. This just was released this week. $99.99. Not going to find that at a price like that in most places because it's brand-new. Uh, cask Strength, the Rye Whiskey, the Emerald Giant, and then Pipe Dream, which is one of those better... Uh, bottles for under $40 and of course I'm always going to point out Blue Note because they are one of my favorites. Then again we're seeing this Blueprint which is Kentucky only. Again MGP we just talked about that a little bit ago. And of course look at the prices on the small batch benchmark. $15.99. The foolproof, the bonded single barrel. <sighs> Amazing selection here and then you get to this side. There's It just keeps on going. Got the old Rick. I haven't seen that one before. That's a new one. So it's Canadian rye whiskey, 17 years old, 250 bucks, 126 proof. Early times bottle and bond, $29.99. And then more of those Evan Williams flavors, the peach, the honey, bottle and bond, apple, cherry, if that's your style. But of this selection, uh, I'm going to say, if you're looking for something, they've got it here. And they've got it at a very affordable price, especially if you're going to try to do one of those package deals where they're selling two bottles together. Just a really cool store right off of I-65 that I think you really need to check out. And if you're a fan of beer, they've got a walk-in cooler and they also got a drive through So Chicken Cock, the Double Oak, yeah, that's a funny name, Blue Run. I do love what Blue Run's putting out there. I do think that sometimes their chosen bottles are a little higher priced. This was created by Costco, so that's a Costco pick. Bib and Tucker, and then Blade and Bow. I always think that you can find some of the greatest deals on the bottom shelf. That Blade and Bow, $55.99, good stuff. But even down here, the Bell Mead, this isn't being made anymore. And I'm rocking my Bell Mead socks today, too. Bourbon drinking socks. So Bell Mead Reserve Bourbon, no longer being made, $69.99. And then down here, here's a gem on the bottom shelf, Pikesville Rye. It's really getting popular. It's a Heaven Hill bottled uh, rye whiskey, 110 proof, $53.99. And of course, Calumet, small batch, gentleman's cut. We did that review. You can check it out on the top right. I would personally shy away from it. I'd actually grab this Curly over the Gentleman's Cut. It's got a little bit more of that pot still funk. I think it's more of a scotchy taste. It's overpriced from Boone County. It should not be a $90 bottle. That should be more of a $30 bottle, but unfortunately that MSRP is higher because of Steph Curry's name. But anything you want, there you probably got it. We're back here again. They've got the Toasted Oak Four Grain Woodford Series. There's Boone County's back here as well. The Toasted Oak Cask Finish Old Elk Infinity Blend. I didn't see some of these bottles back here the first time, but Very Old St. Nick, the Rye, the 17 year old Dickel, if you're a fan of that. I've heard mixed reviews. Sweetens Cove, Calumet 15 and 16, Penelope Rose Cask Finish. This looks like this is that American light whiskey. Have heard really good stuff. 128.4 proof. And then the 2023 release of the Yellowstone. 
foolproof 1792. Good luck, buddy. Have a good one. Woodford's Hi, Master Collection. Again, Jono's Liquor Outlet, Elizabethtown, Kentucky, right off the Bourbon Trail, right outside of Bardstown. So if you're doing the Bourbon Trail, so if you're doing the Bourbon Trail, heading to Bardstown, heading to Louisville, or heading down south out towards Bowling Green, this is a must stop. They've got anything you need and the prices are fantastic. Okay, next stop, we're a little further south. We're in Bowling Green, Kentucky. We're heading to I-65 Liquors in Bowling Green, right off of I-65. Let's jump in, see if they've got any of those cool allocated bottles. Here we are, Bourbon Isle. End cap of Heaven Hill items. Again, Kentucky only, there you go. Here's the whiskey aisle. Let's take a look. Let's start at the end and make our way down. So, ooh, end cap as well. So there we go. Russell's Reserve single barrel, Jefferson single barrel cask strength. So this is a cask strength ocean thick, $83.99. Here we go. Great prices on the bonded from Jack, single barrel from Jack as well. Another great price on that Pikesville. We just saw that at John O's. So we've got the, the Whiskey Row series from Old Forester, Rattlesnap, Chattanooga Whiskey, Benchmarks, which you're gonna find all over Kentucky. Again, JTS Brown Bottle and Bond, one of my favorites. And what do they have the granddad at? Yeah, $30.99, another great bonded item there. Hidden Barn, Town Branch, Buffalo Trace, $32.99, and as we go down, Kelly Met, Penelope, basically that same Penelope series, they're everyday shelfers. Anybody had a horse soldier? cool story behind that. Uh, they are sourcing that out of Ohio. My favorite part of coming into Kentucky is all the Kentucky only bottles that you're only going to find here. We talked a bit about that up in Louisville and out there at John O's, but a really good selection. I love the prices here. It's the most important thing is when I start to see the shelf prices, I kind of know what to expect when it comes to some of their better bottles, which they might have behind the counter. So old Forester display, Statesman, Statesman becoming a lot more popular after the movie. And then of course, let's see what they have allocation wise. Pound for pound, probably one of the better buys that Russell's Reserve. There we go, there we go, the allocation is right back there. Let's see what we can get. $59.99 on the Eagle Rare 10 year. And a single barrel Bowman is a great price at $69.99. The tea sag is uh, $1,200. Yeah, the Rue is. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Yeah. Uh, Pappy is eight twenty-five. Eight twenty-five. Uh, the Willard is seven fifty on both. On both of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about that Thomas H. Handy? Uh, there it is. Three five fifty. And you come back here. That's where all the y'all will fuck it. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Sorry, YouTube. I know, but that's all the allocated up here. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Marilyn. Honey, for you. Another two fish sure. on the stand. You want cold or hot? Oh, I think I only got them hot. <laughs> Sorry. Hardens Creek Trio, we're going to do a review on that here shortly. So stay tuned and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that whiskey forecast. Stag Jr., of course, with the daddy stag in the case. So again, I-65 Liquors, Bowling Green, Kentucky, right off of I-65, walking away with the John J. Bowman single barrel. Great price on this. I haven't seen it this low in a while at $69.99, everywhere else by me in Northern Kentucky, usually around 80 to 85. So happy to walk away with this. Let's see what else we can find this afternoon.
Okay, next pit stop is not a liquor store, but we're at a distillery, and we're now in Nashville, Tennessee. Nelson's Greenbrier Distillery on the west side of Nashville. We're gonna go for a tour. We're gonna have some food, maybe try a couple of samples, and then get back on the bourbon hunt. All right, all wrapped up at Nelson's Greenbrier. Had to grab myself a cask strength Tennessee whiskey when in Tennessee, right? Also, they've got an amazing coffee pecan liqueur that you've got to check out. It's called Louisa's. So if you haven't already, stop in Nashville, Tennessee while you're off of Broadway. Come on right down on the west side, Nelson's Greenbrier Distillery here in the west side of Nashville. Let's go stop at one more liquor store before we make it to Huntsville. All right, one last stop. We are just south of Nashville, off of I-65 in Spring Hill, Tennessee, at one of my favorite liquor stores I've ever been to. It's Elixir Spirits here in Spring Hill, Tennessee. They've got an amazing assortment of single barrels, but also some really cool bottles that you may not always see. So let's go see what we can find. All right, you guys are going to see exactly why this is one of my favorite places. For a wall of whiskey and any spirit you want. They've got it. No rhyme or reason, and that's the fun part, is you gotta do your own searching. For those of you interested in Traveler, that's the best price I've seen on Traveler since I've seen it in stores, so come check that out. $36.99. Well, look at that. Basically, floor to ceiling of whiskey. Let's go to the back and wake our way up front. Best part of this place, I think, is the hidden gems on the shelves that you're not necessarily always going to find. Frank August, we've talked about that. The Dickel 17. You've got the Lux Road double single barrel. Widow Jane. That's a 13 year, I believe, up there. Jim Beam stuff, if that's what you're interested in. But it's the first place I've seen to have the Ben Holiday 7 year bottle and bond. They've got the soft red wheat rickhouse proof. I've heard great things about that. I love the soft red wheat bottle and bond. And you can find that uh, review on the top right of your screen there. 10th Mountain Rye, my guy. Love 10th Mountain. Those people over there are fantastic. And this is that new port cask finished Chattanooga that just came out. Of course, the hard truth bourbon that just dropped. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on that forecast for that. I just got a bottle of that sent to me by Hard Truth. So let's go along the lines here, folks. We got the barrel dovetail seagrass bourbons up there, and then the rye, Garrison Brothers, the Lone Whiskey, we got Fortuna. Again, um, I do love the prices here as well. Some of the stuff a little more higher than some of the other stuff. But they've got their own. Uh, single barrel from Bardstown, early times twenty nine ninety nine. The mixer stuff, that barrel proof Colonel Spirits, on sale for twenty seven ninety nine. Might be walking out here with that because that's the best price I've seen on that. We talked about that uh, in that Crafts Whiskey uh, video that I posted earlier in the month. Calumet, Jefferson's. Blue Run, Stellum, again, World Whiskey Society. There's their bourbon finished in cognac casks. New Riff Single Barrel, Baker 7, great price, $62.99. And of course, the Old Forester Prohibition Series. Oh, and look at the boxes up top. I wonder if they got any of that. WLW, Weller CYPB, Full Proof, 12 Year, ETL. I doubt it, but we'll we'll see if we can stumble upon it. Cooper's Craft. We got the Jim Beam stuff, Makers, Cast Strength. Bowman Brothers, the small batch, $37.99. Oh, and then there's more over here and on the floor and on the shelf. Series more Bardstown. Man, there's a bunch of Bardstown. Series 11 which has a bunch of Jim Beam in it. Um, 
73% Kentucky, Kentucky. So I believe some of that, I believe the 13 year is the Jim Beam, I could be wrong. The Origin Series, Old Elk, Heart of Alchemy. Uh, I had the Blend 1, I just finished that. That's very good. The Redwood Empire, the Cask Strength, you got the Pipe Dream and the uh, Lost Monarch. Hard Truth, I've been tooting their horn for a while, but the Bottle and Bond, the Weeded Mash, they've got the Sweet Mash over there. And the Laws Whiskey, people. We're gonna have an interview with Al Laws itself, uh, so you're gonna wanna check that out. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that interview as well. Good prices on that as well. $59.99 for the straight rye, the Cask Strength 85 or thereabouts. Like I said, no really rhyme or reason to some of the shelf here, but that's, I think, my favorite part of this is because you feel like you're stumbling upon something cool when you find it. Always gotta look on the bottom shelf. To Conic, just gave that bottle away. To Derek on that live video a few weeks ago, he just got it and I'm looking forward to hear what he has to say. But more laws, a uh, special straight rye, uh, the sequel straight rye, excuse me. Remus, Davidson Reserve. There are so many different types of bottles here that whatever you're looking for, you're most likely going to find it here. You're going to stumble upon it. That's the best part. Barrel Proof Single Bourbon, again from Cardinal Spirits, five year. Middle West. Love the guys over at Middle West. They're putting on some amazing stuff. And a lot of the stuff you might be trying is Middle West sourced or. Um, contract distilled and you don't even know it so you definitely need i agree with that sign you need to try middle west okay let's go back to this side blade and bow long branch rare breed of course all those wild turkeys 101 look at the price his safe choice i would totally agree with that tark 26.99 for the 101 green river what do we have down here? <laughs> the bondage. Got the one liter bonded, uh, bonded triple mash. We were just over at Nelson Brothers, but you can get them all here. The Bill Mead. Good times if that's up your alley. Not a huge fan. But. As we move on, we've got the Black and West Henderson on sale, $92.99. Looks like there's a couple bottles left. Garrison Brothers, the Honeydew, another great company. Short Barrel, the Bees Knees, uh, that uh, honey, honey Barrel finished. That is their Bees Knees, the third. So that means that's the third batch. Single Malt from Adams. I've heard great things from Southern Collective Spear Company. It's a Tennessee company. Ooh, Old Dominic Cast Strength, $79.99. That is a bottle that you need to grab if you see it. Um, Wheeler's Raid is a new one to me. Bourbon finished in the run cast, let's see. What do we have from there? Nolansville, Tennessee. So Tennessee whiskey, small batch rye, $72.99. That's the favorite here. Can't say enough good things about Chattanooga, the 111. Of course, my favorite probably is the Bottle and Bond. That comes in at 54.99. And we're getting to the Red Breast 15, 149.99. The variety here, I tell you what. And if there's something you want to try, there's a good chance he's got it popped open for a sample too. So we're getting back to that Irish and some of the Canadian with the Crown, but. Yeah, uh, great selection. I didn't even show you all of it either because let's keep going down this row. We're going Davis County, Davies County, Boulder Spirits, hearing a lot of good things. I know my friend Cheryl, she just did a barrel pick for the Bourbon Virgins if you want to check them out. Uh, that's going to be benefiting uh, Alzheimer's. So all the proceeds go to the End ALZ Foundation there. There we go, more Frank August. We've got great selection. There's the back room. Yellowstone pick. So the tequila aged in E.H. Taylor. I haven't had any of these. Um, I do own a bottle that was finished in Blanton's Barrel. They've got the WLW here as well. 
and they've got a tequila wall. So if you're into the tequila phase, that's really starting to pop up as well. A bunch of the tequilas. Gentleman Jack, Jack Daniels. Here we go. Just some of your everydayers. Uh, Buffalo Trace, I think it's $36.99 for that. The big bomber of Buffalo Trace. Um, I'm gonna assume that's near 60, maybe a little bit more. I don't see a sign. I'll have to ask Tart. But there you go. Great wine selection, beer selection as well. But again, a bunch of great stuff out here. At Elixir Spirits. And it just keeps going. <laughs> Jepson, <laughs> Jepson's Bourbon. We did a review on that on the podcast. Really good for the price of that bottle. Being a lower shelfer, right around $25 to $30 usually. Hard to go wrong. Either MGP, some of that's coming in, uh, I believe, out of Green River or from Dickel. And then you got the Pinhooks Vertical Series. Look at all the colors. Of course. Uh, beautiful, beautiful selection here. There we go. I've been looking for this all day. The Barrel Foundation, five year. I've heard great things. Batch 24 from Barrel. You got the 2024 New Year. Look at the barrel batches they've got. 33, 34, 35, 14, 20, 23. If there's a barrel batch you're looking for, good chance they've got it. And Barrel is putting out amazing stuff. Loved that Ambarana cask finish series. We did a review on that a few months ago. Barrel Vantage is one of those of my always have a bottle. And of course, they've got their own single barrel here. They've got the Barrel Craft Spirits Bourbon, uh, that special gray bourbon coming in at $249.99. The Rum Private Barrel, Hemingway Whiskey. Like I said, any selection, this is probably one of the best selections I've seen, which is why it's one of my favorite stores. And the best part is he's so personable. So come on out, come check him out. Especially if you're traveling through Nashville. The Whistle Pig Summer Stock, the Whistle Pig 10 Year, 12 Year, the Lucky 7 lineup. Just when I think I've seen every bottle that I've been looking for, I see even more. You got some of the Texas whiskey, Whiskey Del Bach, Detling, another Redwood Empire, Old Soul, the 2023 Barrel, Oak and Eden. We talked about that at the last store, RD1. Um, and the prices here are hard to beat on a lot of these. Dark Arts, we talked about that over at the, uh, the Liquor Barn in Louisville. Those are really starting to take off. And then the Penelope lineup, Architect, Rosé. Again, some of the best pricing I've seen out of a lot of this stuff. New Roof Rye, Yellowstone Toasted, the Doc Swinson's lineup. Oh Glory, Old Pepper, Garrison Brothers, Backbone. Uh, that's a distillery, I believe, out of Indianapolis. More Frank August, small batch. 13th Colony, the regular bourbon in the rye. Woodenville, I've heard great things out of Woodenville. That's coming in out of Washington. More short barrel, the El Jefe is actually aged in mezcal barrels, which is really cool. That's an amazing price. This is Castle and Key. You've got the weeded. And down here you got the rye. Like I said, it's kind of like a scavenger hunt in a way. And the pricing is great. The bridle and brit and bridle and bit, I've had a great taste of. That's the Ambarana finish. I just like the regular small batch. Yeah, Noah's Mill. And then the Rowan's Creek. What's down here? Blown Brothers. This is just an amazing assortment and collection of different whiskey brands and uh, different bourbons. Kings County. Man, I feel like I see a new one. Some of these dusties down here. And then you got the 2XO. Oh, and if there's anything you want to try, tasting bottles. So, also hidden back here. We got some hidden on the shelf up there. So, again, I like to call this the bourbon scavenger hunt because you never know what you're going to find on the shelves, and it's always going to be at a competitive price. All right. I've got the rums. I have to point out this privateer, true American rum, bottle and bun, 
if you're a fan of rum, you're going to like this. But if you're a whiskey fan, this is definitely a rum you've got to try. A bottle and bond rum. So, of course, 100 proof. We're just getting past uh, bottle, and bomb day, bottle and bond day, March 3rd. Uh, <laughs> fantastic. This is made out of Massachusetts, right next to $17.92, $50 for that. You got the Heaven Hill bib, $54.99. As I mentioned, great pricing here. Again, a bottle and bond rum. You don't come across that too often and just tasted it, which is the best part of coming into this store is you get to taste anything you want. Fantastic, go grab it. Well, as always, walking out with a box, had to grab uh, that old Dominic cask strength as well as that Cardinal Spears barrel proof and was able to sneak out an Elijah Craig barrel proof A124. Pretty excited about that as well. Uh, a great trip here through Kentucky and Tennessee. Excited to actually drive back home and maybe stop at a few more. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and don't forget to watch out for more forecasts down the road. Okay, moms and dads, I've got a tip for you. If you've got a kid, the best part of having a kid is the car seat to keep your bottle safe right there.